in action. Welcome to podcast 42. Uh, we're going to talk about fishing. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of, this is an impromptu, not all the way thought through podcast, but uh, we're going to do it. Yeah, we're just going to go off the GoPro and uh, we appreciate uh, you guys listening. But uh, We just got back from running lines. Set, set yep. Yeah, set lines. We set out five each, so ten total. And uh, we got back here in record time. I can even take my wife and kid out for dinner, so we're going to make this short and sweet. But we got some big bullheads, which uh, it's kind of a cool story in itself, um, where you guys caught them. You're right. You went out with Dylan, another team member, Dylan Durr, and the ponds that you guys caught them at, um, where I grew up. Yeah, so, literally the old house yeah. just right across the gravel that. road. You take golf balls down to the pond and shot geese at the pond. Shot a wood duck somewhere around here. <laughs> and uh, I killed actually a deer on the uh, far side of the pond. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them ponds kind of in a cattle pasture down in a dip that somebody dammed up yeah. however many years ago. Yep, and uh, I think Dylan's grandma's still there. And it's, it's a nice little spot. But um, So that's kind of cool. You got some really nice bullheads out of there. Yep. Uh, the first run we had last weekend, we did a Sunday set and then Monday check. We had three, we had first pole we had a fish on it and Jesse went to lift it up and it came off. And uh, shortly after that, we had two more lines that were broke. So we kind of chalked that up to the, the line we were using. So yeah, I, I try to get fancy. It, it, I'm, I'm the type of person that I can't just have stock stuff, can't be normal. I got to do something different. Something, yeah. And uh, you're like that too. Like yeah. you're, you won't drive a stock truck. You don't like something's got to be that different. stock though. Besides the wheels and tires. But that's not stock, you know. <laughs> True. So it's 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 different. So I found this Kevlar braid that was like 400 pound test. I'm like, this is gonna be awesome because the issue we always have, we run these Whisker Seeker rattles. I swear by them. I, I guarantee they help. Um, and it's a pain in the butt to get them on the line that we've used in the past. So this is a smaller diameter, they just slide on. I'm like, awesome, great. Last year, we didn't fish that much because we had um, no rain. Like, the rivers sucked. Yeah. So, got everything ready for last year. I think we only caught one flathead. I think we went twice. Maybe Two or three times, three and we times. only caught one flathead, and then we had one get off, actually get off of the hook, um, right at the boat, like the last one we checked in the last run, and that kind of took the wind out of our sails, and we said, we're all right, we're done. That's deer. Let's yeah. focus on the deer and all. We got... We got New lines, new hooks, you just rigged up the poles, so. Yep, everything should be good, good to, go. to go. And they're out there, they're yep. soaking. They're, they're all good spots. They, they look good. Like yep. this, we could catch 10, we could catch zero, yep. but they all look good. They do, and uh, so we used to catch a lot of fish because we used to take five or six people on the boat and that's five lines per person. Now we can only, a two person boat, we're at capacity, so we can't take anybody else. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it sucks. It takes a lot less time. It's a lot less hassle because we don't have to worry about pressure washing a $40,000 boat. We just have this little John boat with a little jet motor. We've done a video on our YouTube of kind of our a walk around and kind of showcase our little boat. And it, it's good enough for us. Um, yeah, it does everything we needed to. It's, yep. It caught the biggest fish we've ever caught. Yeah, yeah that's right. We, we're running. 10 poles and we caught the biggest fish, a 70 pounder. Yeah, right, right around 72, so. Yeah. So that's, uh, as far as fishing goes, yeah, you've crappie fished? Crappie fished a little bit. I, I had like two days I went and then we got all that rain again yeah. and jacked stuff up yeah. and it, I got my fix. I wish the weather wouldn't have changed around. Yeah, spring was pretty wet and weird, and I, I got to go down to Rathen with uh, three guys I played baseball with, really good friends, um, and Jeremy, he's got the, what's it called, life scope? Yeah. And so we could see the fish, and we found out where they were, and we just kept trolling uh, purple crankbaits, I think five to ten foot um, divers, and we hammered the fish. We caught 15, 20 walleye, five that we kept. I caught the biggest, nice. and then uh, TJ caught the biggest wiper, which is a pretty good size wiper. And uh, we're gonna have a little fish fry, but a lot of crappies, um, white bass. So nice, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's fun. 
spring's one of those you get you get everything wrapped up with turkey season. I mean, the team just absolutely pounded the turkeys. I mean, we only put out maybe two thirds of the videos. I mean, there's guys that I mean, Casey killed five for six birds in a couple different states, all with his bow, all on the ground, no blind. So you like had plenty of video, to all edit. that stuff. Yeah. And, and I'll put that out next year before season starts. Yeah. And like my daughter's killed birds. I killed birds in Wisconsin with Mitch, all that stuff. And it just got to the point where you get into middle of May and it just, yeah, never nobody really, cares. I never really flipped on the switch. I don't, I mean, turkeys are just kind of fun to go after a few times. And I took Jace a couple times and we had some bad luck, but not a lot of people watch our videos for turkeys like they do deer. Yeah, so. and, and, and I talked to a couple of people that, um, that I respect in the video side of stuff, Josh Sparks yeah. um, with Midwest Whitetail, and, and he was saying that if you're not, if that's not your niche, and that's not what you're known for, it's very hard to get the views. Yeah, and sure. and I agree. He's like, in the South, that's their deer. Turkey hunting is their deer. Yeah, is their Midwest deer hunting? In Wisconsin, and your yeah. Austin. Yeah, yeah. Austin. Yeah, we, we, we don't really. We, we're diehard deer hunters, and we like the turkey hunt and. Yeah, you know, fish. It's fun. It, it's fun. It's like I love dove hunting. I yeah. it's just it's so relaxing. Which we haven't done in a few years. We used to go all the time and shoot limits, you know, two days in a row, and then the field was burnt out and we eat right. poppers for a week and the uh the field by my house should be corn this year, so it should yeah. be should be doable again. Good. Yeah, it's 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 fun. So yeah, we, we're kind of switching gears. Now we're straight catfishing, doing some food plot stuff. But if you guys want to get into catfishing, um catfish getter rods they come free like they have all the they don't have rattles on but they have hooks and everything they ship the the, line. the the lines the cat daddy the, yeah cat daddy the cat daddy said you can order them with lines and all that stuff on there like i said i'm just so anal about what i like i bought just the blanks yeah. we have so we have, we have the cat daddy we got 10 of those um and you customize them yep they they look good you can see them you know, yeah, they, they don't hold water and mud like the old PVC yeah. poles. Yeah, are. they're solid fiberglass. They're three, they're half inch or three quarter inch, inch three quarter, three quarter inch, eight foot long fiberglass rods, yep. and they're super Put, stiff. Clean up well. Yeah, uh, they catch big fish. We caught. I mean, we caught a big fish on them. Um, yep. We we see PVC ones all the time, and when we were yeah. setting lines, those are a pain to put in, a pain to clean. Your boat gets all muddy, and it's just they yep. they're so limp. And but yeah, if you want to get. Uh, Maybe you can put a link to that website. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at them. They have the Cat Daddy ones. We've worked with them the last couple of years, and yeah. it, I wish we, it, we would have had a better year last year. Just weather didn't yeah. didn't jive yeah. with it this year. Everything should all the everything should be worked out this year. So the water level so. actually dropped four foot from when we went last week, and it's it's probably right. It's perfect right now. Usually we catch more fish when it's rising, but it's at a it's at a good level today. I spent three hours cleaning off the ramp. We had 30 loads, bucket loads from the tractor of silt because the water is so high. Yeah. You can see like our, one of our last pit we put up, like at head level on the bank, there was logs. So that's what, how high it was. Yep. But it's, it, I, I think we'll have some fish. I mean, we have that technique to, you know, we drive down the river, we find those back eddies and it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah. For us, we see a lot of poles that, aren't in good spots right and don't have good baits so there's some learning to do i think on their end but we've caught a lot of big fish and i think we've got it kind of down to an art yeah if i can if we can get all the stuff together and yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if the line doesn't crap out and break it's... yeah the only thing we we could do different is if we had a bigger boat take some of our friends and have more lines and yeah you know, more success rate with more lines just like trapping you, you put out more traps you're probably gonna catch more critters so yeah it's fun it's something to do um, you've been busy with your food plot stuff, getting CRP in. I've been spraying plots. I had a custom spray for a guy this past week, and it's just one thing after another. Need to do this, need to do that, need to get our earth ponds in. Yep, um, they they showed up. I dropped. You have your I brought yeah, it last yeah, week. Yeah. Mine's at my house. I need to get it to the farm and get that in. Um, so maybe when I get back from vacation in a, in a week, we can maybe get the tractor down there and dig it in and be pretty cool yeah yeah i might might ride, go back to fishing here kind of jump around but i might go riding real fishing with brad next 
weekend if we don't have any plans. He texted me and said that he's got kids this week and okay. he's to be around. So, and he's, nice. yeah, he'll be gone. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the Dominican for a family vacation. So, get that out of the way and get your tan on. Yeah, get my, <laughs> get my ginger tan. So, it's, it's getting at that stage where some of us have a, we all have a few trail cameras out just because um, we, uh, they just released the new flash. Flashback. Flashback stealth cam it's a camera. White, white flash. Old school. It I love it. Absolutely. I've, I've got two out right now and uh, I finally got a buck on one of them. But uh, the, the pictures are literally night day difference because it's white flash. I, I the love quality. It. I would say it's better than the deceptors, better than the reactors. It's my even during the camera. day, even during the day. Yeah, and, so. and I'm I'm a big wild game them encounters. I love them, but I've said it for a decade: make a white flash, bring yeah. the white flash back, bring the white flash, and they finally did. And just the pictures I've seen people post, you know, some of the guys that are part of Stealth Cam and got to test some of them, like you. Um, they're pretty they're, sweet. They're great. They are. And I, they take 16 batteries, double A's. Um, so we'll see how battery life works. So far, so good. Now, going back to the encounters, um, we're switching gears from fishing again, but going back to the encounters, they take what? Eight batteries? Eight. And they last almost all year. Yeah. I mean, and they are it, just a great quality encounter 2.0s from Wild Game if you guys are looking at cameras. Yeah, they're they're awesome. I, I love mine. They're my. I have a whole bunch. I bought a bunch. They had a BOGO sale last fall. I stocked up, and I'm actually gonna be putting all those out yeah, in this the, fall. The, so the best thing, battery life with Encounter 2.0s, and then you don't have to pay for a cell phone plan. You get 500 pictures free a month. Every month. So you can set your camera to like 10 minute delay or 20 minute delay, one picture, and that camera is gonna keep sending you pictures. So yeah. it's. They're great. You bought a whole bunch. I bought a whole bunch. Um, it's, I, I would say put those out in areas that you're not going to go to a lot because you don't have to go in there. Yeah. Your life. And, and I really started running a lot of solar panels. A lot. Yeah. I, I've been tweaking my setups where I have certain areas where that's where I have them. And yeah, you get I, full sun, you're good. Yeah, even half, years. even half sun, it, it'll be enough to charge yeah. it and if, keep it charged. The foliage. Uh, comes off the trees and you have one there that's going to charge it and yep. your camera will come back to life. But it's the technology keeps changing and getting better and better and the lithiums and the solar packs and the battery packs and all that stuff. So it's exciting. I, I'm I'm ready for fall. I mean, I'm not ready, but I, I am, you know, ready for it to get it. To see what kind of deer we'll be chasing this year. Right. The crazy thing was I've been going through my old cell cam SD cards. That's one thing I will tell everybody. I don't care what brand it is. Always double back through. Well, with the cell cam SD cards, it's either something that you don't look at the app and see what deer it is, or it misses some, or it's a bad service it's technology failure, and it, and it doesn't send it. I was going through a card, and I'm like, uh, it's over my Grinnell piece where Dylan and I share a lot of deer. We're not that far away, and I got a picture of this really big buck, and I'm like. Send it, send him a snap thing. I snapped the group. I'm like, dude, have you seen this deer? He's like, yeah, I sent you pictures. I'm like, no, you didn't. This isn't that one with the trash. This is like a clean 10 with a split. And he's like, yeah, he's big. And just going through a couple different cameras, I'm like, what's that in the background? Like, now that it's on a yeah, computer, screen, computer screen, yeah. I'm like, oh crap, that's a deer yeah. I didn't even know about, you know, because when you, like half the time they're night pictures and you wake up at two o'clock in the morning yeah, you're kind of looking at them and them. you go past them but i've been downloading all mine and saving them and you can go through mine too it's so much of a hassle it is you, you got you 60 have, cell cams and you have to be in the mindset to do it yeah. that, like you just have to sit down and do a couple at a time and be like i don't yeah. organize them i just throw them all on a yeah there's 2023 some, some guys that folder. organize them through year through deer and it's like i don't know how you do it i'll just go back to my images on my phone and I can almost go you know through November I could in my head it's like all right this deer was this time frame and I can go find the picture yeah so that that is you know, on the ones you save yeah on the ones you save which and, I don't save them all but I save the good ones right so, and then like I said I thought I saved all of them but you, you always miss some yeah and and it's one of those I would hate to have 
good information. And then it's just like the the cameras I went and pulled on one of our farms that we both funded. Um, when we can talk about him now because he's he's got dead. a dead. Many maybe he right. showed up with the last very very few many people know about this. I think maybe you and I maybe some one other person or just us that we got pictures of him at the the following year. Yeah, yeah. So I went and pulled these cameras that we had out. We were sharing. And uh, I looked through the pictures real quick, and there's nothing on there. And I gave them to Jesse, and he went through and was like, Did you miss something? I'm like, yeah, maybe. Pictures of mini maybe after deer season. I Three like, pictures. It was January 10th at like 9 o'clock at night. I hadn't had pictures of him all year, and this is after this set of sheds I have. Yeah. That he's like, one, he was 190 with the set of sheds yeah. I have. And he showed up, and he's got double beams and lost a bunch of stuff, yeah. but he was six or seven years old yeah. at that point. He was, Still a cool deer and right. a lot of history built up to that. So who knows if someone shot him? I think I would have heard about it. Yeah, especially I mean, our friends group that hunts in the area. Yeah, someone so, would have heard something about something. And, but you never know. There's guys out there that shoot bigger deer than us, and they don't tell a soul. No. Nope. Yep. And who knows? That could be one of the neighbors, and wouldn't yep. surprise me a bit because that deer almost got killed by a bunch of people. Yeah. I almost killed him twice. Um, another buddy that hunted the farm almost killed him. Um, we heard through the grapevine that another neighbor missed him with a crossbow. Hit him with a crossbow. Hit him with a crossbow. Like, and it was just insane. Yeah, it was cool but, deer. But that ends that story. It's kind of neat looking through pictures and seeing that. But yeah, as far as fishing goes, guys, we hope you get out there. We hope you enjoyed this podcast. Um, we'll probably get three or four more trips, hopefully. Maybe, yeah, we'll just see how the summer goes. Maybe hit the big water. I know uh, Jamie's in invited us to go to uh, Missouri okay catch. he's in the past so yeah maybe he'll invite us to go again but they catch big blues and that'd be fun who knows maybe yeah. we can yeah, find some time yeah hopefully we can and... post some fishing videos you know yeah if I if we catch some fish and all that I'll make it make an episode and put it up and I know a lot of other guys are fishing and we'd like to get into that fishing yeah. side of it too it's yeah. just a little bit are different you... than the yeah. YouTube page is pretty stagnant right now, so bear with us as we try to create some content and go fishing. You know, we've got some stuff coming down the pipe, but hopefully we have some fish on the line in the morning. We're going to be there super early, and we got cameras up on our line so people won't mess with us. So Right, yeah. We haven't really had a whole bunch of issues, but we know that there's been times where people have. Yeah. And it's curiosity. I mean, you pull up and you see that. Yeah, what's on there? Yeah. What's on there? What is it's, it? You know, it's the the bad. I wouldn't say the bad guys. They're just we've had lines cut and people don't like when we catch bigger fish than them. That's all of what it boils down to. Yeah, it's the same reason we get a bunch of crap for the deer. Yep, but it, it comes comes and goes. It's all good. We'll uh, keep doing what we're doing, and they can keep doing what they're doing. So, hundred percent. So thanks for listening. We're checking out. We yep. go out uh, have some prime rib. I'm gonna go Good water. Eat something. I don't know. Like what? No idea. All right, checking out.